Hello, it's time to talk about uh, file processing and how to read a file from from the disk or write the data back to the disk. And first of all, why do we need to do this? Read a file and write back the data to the disk. Why? Okay. <laughs> okay. Why? Can you please ask ask yourself this question? Is it a question? Is this a question easy to answer? Okay. Why? Okay. It's a very important concept about the computer. Even though we open up our system or boot up our computer, we load our disk, right? We load our operating system. We st start our programming environment. We started to write a code. If we write a code without save it, okay, and all of a sudden your power maybe fail, okay, your electricity gone, everything is gone because uh, the things that you type is in we call a memory. Okay. Uh, memory is volatile. Okay. They will just disappear. The data will disappear without the power. Okay. The file, we call it uh, secondary memory. Although, uh, it's on the disk, but they can still keep the data without uh, without power support. Okay, so that is why we need to write back to the secondary memory so that we can keep the data. Okay, so how do we how do we handle this in our programming language? Okay. Let's assume okay your disk. Okay. Now I know the disk doesn't look like this, but it doesn't matter. This is your memory. Okay, you want to write back and then you want to read, right? This is a normal thing, right? Okay. In Python uh and a lot of other programming language doing these things is very very high level okay we need to use a command called open okay open open the file name or open the file you are going to write to okay so usually you open you give a file name or a path file name uh, if you don't specify the absolute directory, uh, the file will going to write to or read from your local directory, a pre present uh, working directory. Okay, and uh, sometimes when you want to have a particular action, for example, you going to write write to, uh, you need to give us some attribute to indicate you are going to write. Uh, I think the Python uh, without this parameter by default it's a read only. Okay. So this is the first step we, we are going to do. When we do this successfully, okay, successfully, uh, you will uh, use this command and you will get the return we call a file handle file handle it's kind of high level descriptor okay through it we can further on we can write the data to or read the data from it okay so to get this handle this file handle okay <laughs> it's very very important okay the way is to specify the proper file name 
with the proper attribute. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully you get succeeded, and then you can write the data uh, and the read the data. Okay. In the end, uh, normally we have a good habit uh, when we don't need to use this file. Uh, we need to close it. Okay. Especially for uh, the data you are going to write. Sometimes uh, without closing, uh, uh, you are going to lose the the last part of the data. Okay. So it's a always good habit to close uh, if you make sure everything you want to write back to. Okay. And that's it. That's it. Okay. And when we read and or write uh, in Python, uh, we can use uh, start with the very high level. We can create a buffer or maybe string, okay, and try to do this, okay. Okay, so let's do our exercise. Okay, let's do our exercise. Okay, so uh, let me sh check. Okay, our working directory is uh, under users uh, hychn my my username and I have a subdirectory called a Python. Okay, so this is my working directory. Okay, let's assume I want to uh, create the file handle. Okay, I use open. Do you remember that? Okay. And I want to have a have a call a Python dot txt, and I want to give a, a attribute called a write. Okay. Yeah, no error message, and let's print it out. This file handle, file handle fh. Okay, here comes the information. You can see the interpreter create a, a weird data type called a text IO wrapper, a kind of uh, technical name of the uh, file handle. But they have some metadata. The name, the path is here. Okay, the mode is right. Okay, here comes a quitty. Pretty important information. The default encoding method is UTF-8, which means uh, you can type uh, uh, English as well as, uh, as the language you know. If you uh, want to type French, uh, German, uh, or if you are a polyglot, you can speak ten languages. You can type it all in once. Okay, but I can type Chinese as an example. Okay, so now I'm going to write back. Okay, I can write back some string. For example, Python is cool and fun, interesting to learn. Okay, a few words. Okay, this is the first line I'm going to write. And then you see the the, you got a result. You got you actually write back write to uh, the the buffer uh, about a forty one byte. Okay. Okay. Now I want to type uh, a little bit Chinese. Chen Hen Yu said, "Okay." Uh, I said uh, Python Hen Yu Chu. Okay, a little bit test about the UDFA. Oh, 17 character. Right. Uh, you can't, you can't learn it simply. By watching the video. <laughs> okay, this is actually you are doing right. Oh, 
some error. What kind of error? Oh, I have a single quote inside my string, so I need to escape it, right? I need to escape it. I can use a backslash, right? Okay, and so successfully, uh, the last one, you should practice your code on your own, step by step. Okay, make sure no any strange information. Okay, uh, now so far I write the four lines, right? And I'm going to close it. <coughs> close it. Dun -dun. I'm going to create my Python. And because my file is uh, python.txt, right? So can I use some Unix command? Uh, Unix command, you can cat it, Python. <laughs> okay, see, I got a, a lot of a lot of things. Okay, write to it, but every write, uh, there's no new line, right? Okay, more another way to type in the command line, you can more it. Okay, of course, if you are not familiar with what I'm doing, you can use your editor. Okay, you can use the editor. Uh, for example, I use uh, uh, no. This is not my writing. I'm going to open it. Open it. Oh, I can I can directly browse. Okay, this is the one I. This is the one I type right. I'm gonna open it. Okay. So, so this is the first line I write, the second line I write, no, no, the second line, okay, the second command I write, okay, you cannot, learn it simply, okay, so everything concatenated. So one thing we learn from this example is that if you need to output a new line, you need to control it. You need to put into your in your code, right? So that is the thing. Okay. Now I would like to uh, kind of uh, maybe. What if I edit here? Kind of change my my file. Okay. Okay, this four line. I'm now save us. Okay, save us. Okay, save. Uh, maybe on the line new text. Uh, I don't override my previous uh, output. Now I'm going to run my Python again. This time, let's try to read it. Okay. So I need a file handle, open, uh, Python, is it new? Is it this? No, I think it's new, right? What's wrong? File not found. Hmm. Is it the new? Oh, 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 I forgot the extension file name. Okay, okay, yeah, no error message. Let's print it out. Print it. Okay, from now you see the name has changed and the mode is the read only. The encoding still UTF-8 Unicode, right? Uh, by the way, what about we type it? Okay, is a this is a handles class file handle class. Now let's file uh, do the read. Okay, and when we do read, uh, can we uh, can we read and 
use a variable, uh, maybe buffer, to keep it. Yeah, and we see what we have read. Okay. Wow, you see, the every stream from the beginning uh, to the end has been read into the buffer. Okay. So here you go. So if you want to print, there should be no problem, right? And because the string is new, there's a new new line here. Okay, and because uh, Python support the UTFA, so there's no problem to print it out correctly. So this is our first exercise to uh, to demonstrate, right? Re, oh no, write, close, and the re, and don't forget to close. Even you are in the read-only mode. Okay, so close. C L O S E. I cannot type. <laughs> okay, successfully. So by no, there's no command called by called quit, right? Okay, this short clip. I hope it's short enough, succinct enough, to demonstrate how to read a text file and write the text file. Okay. Now it's time for you to do your homework, your own, or practice a little bit. Okay, bye-bye. See you next time.